Hi, and thanks for choosing Purple Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install mods to your Minecraft server. This will go through how to install them onto your server and onto your own client. For this video, we will be using Forge, so if you have not installed this already, go ahead and do so. If you're not sure how to do this already, we do have a video on this and I'll link it in the description. So installing mods is actually really, really easy. Now, if you have installed Forge already, then you should have installed it to your server and to your own client. So this makes it super, super easy for us. Now to find mods is really, really easy. There's sites like curseforge.com, which has tons and tons of mods for you to try out. Pretty much all mods run through CurseForge, so you can pretty much download them and pretty much any mod from CurseForge. So first I'm going to show you some server side ones and then I'll show you some client side ones. Server side mods means it affects you and the server, but client side mods means it only affects you. So first we'll just install the Twilight Forest mod. This is a pretty well known mod. You just want to go ahead and click on it. You can do this with any mod. And if you click on files, as you can see our forge is 1.12.2. So we're going to go here and we want to find one for 1.12.2. It actually just happens that the main file is actually 1.12.2. So it makes it really easy. We're just going to head and click download. As you see the download is now starting. And there we go. However, if you aren't on 1.12.2, uh, you can just click, you can scroll down to recent files, you can click view all. And then if you click all versions, you can select the version of Minecraft that you want. So it goes all the way from 1.16 to Minecraft 1.0 somehow. And if it does ask you to want to keep this, just click keep. And for a second mod, we're going to get inventory pets. This is another server side mod. Once again, we go to files. As you can see, the main file is not 1.12.2. So we need to scroll down to recent files and we can actually find it really easily 1.12.2 right here we're just going to click download and once again we're going to go ahead and click keep all right so we've now downloaded two server-sided mods now what server-sided mods means is that they need to be installed on the server and also on your own client so if we go to the server go to file manager click on the mods folder and as you can see the mods folder is empty so we're going to go ahead and click upload, file, and as you can see our two mods are right here. We're going to select them and click open. As you see it is now uploading two files. Alright so the mods are now installed in the server. We now need to go ahead and install them in our own client. So once again you will need forward for this. So if we click the start menu we can type in percent app data percent and it should say file folder we're just going to go ahead and click on that. And as you see, we'll open up this. We want to click on .minecraft and then find the mods folder. As you can see, there's a mod I already added before. Uh, so we're just going to remove this one. All right, so now we're just going to make it a bit smaller. And we're going to go to Chrome. And we're just going to drag these over the icon and drag them into the folder. And there we go. We now have these two mods installed. So now if I restart the server... Alright, so our server is now online, and I'm going to go ahead and open Minecraft. Alright, so Minecraft has now loaded, and we're going to go to Multiplayer. And we can now join our server. Alright, so we're now on the server. And if we press E to go to our inventory, we can see that we have both of these mods now installed. We have the Twilight Forest, and also the Inventory Pets mod. So that's how to install server-sided mods. Now I'm going to show you client-side mods. Alright, so we're now going to go ahead and download some client-sided mods. For the first one, pretty much every single mod pack has this, just enough items. You'll recognize this as soon as you see it. When you go to inventory on the right, it will be a huge list of items with many, many pages from all the items from mods and vanilla Minecraft. So as you see, we are now downloading this. And there we go, it has now installed. And as our second mod, we're going to get Zero's minimap. So we can go ahead and click on this, go to files, and then find our 1.12.2 file, which is right here. So once again, we're going to click the start menu, we're going to put percent app data sent. Now if you open the folder, go to .minecraft, scroll down to the mods folder. We can once again just drag them, hover over this, and drag them into the file explorer. For these mods, you will not need to install them into the server. Just put them into your own directory, and then you're good. 
So now you can go ahead and open Minecraft once again. So now Minecraft has loaded once again. We're going to go to multiplayer. We're going to refresh because sometimes it does that. And we're going to join the server. And as you can see, we have a map in the top left. There we go, the map is now loaded in. And all these yellow dots on the map are actually entities. So for example, there's one right here. And this is a bunny. So now if we press E, you can see just enough items is right here. And you can see the inventory with all the different modded items. So this is all Twilight Forest stuff, and there's some stuff down here, which is inventory pet stuff. So it really is that easy to install mods. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it did help you out, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you next time.